Hey, so I thought maybe a video would be easier and hopefully you can get a good look at the dial and so forth with this Severe or Severt, however it's pronounced. Awesome watch. Yeah, it's in really nice condition. This bracelet is an authentic vintage Seiko bracelet. It didn't come with it. Um, it's just one I had. So I would say the, you know, the watch is actually in better condition than this bracelet. And one quick thing um, is I noticed the other night when I was like posting pictures of this, the little rod in here or here was like slipping out a bit. I crimped these little bracket things a bit with some pliers carefully to try to keep that little rod in place, but just something to be aware of. I would, if you buy this, I would get like an Uncle Seiko reproduction bracelet, something, you know, that's new and don't have to worry about potentially falling apart. But anyway, here's the watch. Um, you can see the dial's really nice. All the loom plots are white and the hands as well. Uh, no, you know, signs of like corrosion or anything like that on there. I'll give it a shake. And you can see the chronograph hand. Uh, or seconds hand is moving. I'll reset it in a moment. Um, once we get back up past the 12. And yeah, if you have any other questions about it, feel free to let me know. I bought it about a year ago or so, like I said. It runs, obviously, if you're going to wear it often and want it to be accurate, I would get it serviced because it's not going to be the most accurate watch. Um, but yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, kind of a quick side view and so forth. So when we get up here, I'll stop this and reset it. Buttons work nicely on it. Oop, I guess I didn't give it enough juice when I shook it before. So I'll stop it. You can see it stopped. Then reset. Both hands reset to the 12 o'clock position. And then I've always, you know, had that running for as long as I've owned it. That's what that Spencer Klein guy said is best. So I think he's a good authority. Um, so yeah, I've just worn it really around the house primarily and stuff. Basically, it's just been sitting in my watch box. Cool collectible, but trying to get that Rolex finally. So time to sell a bunch of stuff. Thanks so much.